Welcome back. This is now question number seven on Mr. Hassan's maths channel of the P3 International A Level at Excel June 2021 exam paper. And here we have a question about trig and also differentiation, some sort of identities all kind of mixed up in this question. So they told us here that given that x equals 6 sine squared 2y and y is between 0 and pi over 4, show that dy dx equals 1 over a times the square root of bx minus x squared, where a and b are integers to be found. Okay, so of course it looks like we have to start off by finding the, the differential, by differentiating. So of course it's going to be difficult to make y the subject of this formula in such a way that it's easy for us to differentiate. So instead of finding dy dx, we're going to find dx dy. And then when we can write down it's reciprocal, it's, re it's a reciprocal would be dy dx. So let's start off by writing x in a way that is easy for me to differentiate. So sine squared 2y, I like to write it like this. It's the same as saying sine of 2y all squared. Okay, you can write it like that. That's a nice way of writing it for me to differentiate. So now I can use the chain rule. So dx dy, remember we're finding dx dy first, differentiating x with respect to y. Um, we're going to do 2 times 6, which is 12, times, this stays as it is, sine 2y. Take 1 from the power, because this is now, of, this is basically of the form of um, a, some, something inside the bracket raised to the power. It's like a, you know, something raised to the power or something. Um, that's the main function, you could say. Okay, the main function is something squared. So to differentiate that, you multiply by the power, which is 2 times 6. And then you take 1 from the power, it becomes the power of 1. And then you multiply by the differential of what's inside the function. Now, the differential of, differential of sine y is cosine y. So the differential of sine 2y is going to be cosine 2y. But then there's another uh, part where you've got uh, something inside this function. So it's a function inside a function inside a function. So you've got 2y inside the sine 2y function and the sine 2y in inside the function squared. So you have to then multiply by the differential of what's inside this, which is 2y. So it's going to become 2 cosine 2y. Okay. So let's just uh, tidy that up a little bit first. So you have dx dy equals 12 times 2 which is 24 and you're going to have sine 2y times cosine 2y okay so that's what we've got so far i'm going to leave it in this form um, i'm not going to write it as um dy dx for now i'll do that at the end when i write the reciprocal but we have two different options we could use knowing our trig identities for the double angles Okay, we have a few things we have to take into account. One of them is this, x equals 6 sine squared 2y. So we know that x equals, that's what we started off with, 6 sine squared 2y. Okay, we have to write our answer in terms of x, not in terms of y. In, in the answer, there's no sine 2y or cosine 2y. It's in terms of x. So we'll have to replace the y terms with in terms of x. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say, okay, let me take this x equals 6 sine squared 2y, not y, 2y, sorry. And let me make the sine 2y the subject of this. Okay, so I'll end up with sine squared 2y equals x over 6, which you can say sine of 2y will be the square root of x over 6. Okay, and also keeping this in mind as well here, that in, that in the end we have to have something in this form. So the two ways I could go with this is using the identity that the sine of a double angle, sine of 2a two, two equals 2 sine a cosine a. All right, now, I don't think that's going to help me because if I, if I change this into this form, okay, I'll end up with uh, basically I'll have, to, I'll have 48 um, sine 4y. Okay, and I don't have anything with sine 4y in here. Okay, so that's going to make a problem for me to substitute instead of sine y something to do with x. So I'll have to keep it in terms of sine 2y's. All right, so I'm thinking then let's use the identities for the cosine of a double angle. We know that the cosine of 2a is equal to now. 
we've got things in terms of sine. For cosine 2a, I can either write it as 2 cosine squared a minus 1, or I can write it as 1 minus 2 sine squared a. Those are the two identities I can turn this into, which is some which you should know. You can also derive them, um, which I've gone through in some of my previous videos. But these are the two identities that this can turn into. I mean, the original one is cosine squared a minus sine squared a. Okay, so what I could do here is, um, yeah, so that's an, that's another identity. Now again. This is going to be a problem as well, because this time we'll end up, if I change cosine 2y into 1 minus sine squared um, y, again, I'll have something with sine squared of 1y, and I need to have 2y, right? So uh, using this identity, I'll end up with sine 4y, which I don't want. Using this identity, I'll end up with, uh, you know, I'll end up with this being cosine 1 minus sine squared 2 sine squared y, so I'll have, uh, you know, a, s a single angle, not a double angle. So both of these are not going to help us, because th those are the two things that most people would have, you know, you might go through your mind. So then you think, okay, I need to end up with something like this as a square root. I want to keep it in terms of 2y. Using the double angle formula, we'll change them either to 4y or, or 1y. We want to keep the 2y, because that's what our y is in terms of x. We know the sine of 2y is equal to the square root of x over 6. So what I can use is the fact that sine squared a plus cosine squared a is equal to 1. All right. Now we can, I want to have things in terms of sines. So I can say, let's write cosine squared a is 1 minus sine squared a. This is the basic formula. So then that gives you cosine a is equal to the square root of 1 minus sine squared a. Now, I can replace the cosine 2y, therefore, with the square root of 1 minus sine squared 2y. And I have everything in terms of sine 2y's, and I have in terms of, you know, um, sine squared 2y. So I can use this. This will help us. So let's, let's, let's do this. So dx dy is equal to 24 times the sine of 2y times the square root of 1 minus the sine squared of 2y. Okay, and that is something which I can use now because I can say dx dy equals 24. Now the sine of 2y is equal to x over 6. So it's 24 times x over 6, uh, the square root of x over 6, sorry. 24 times the square root of x over 6. Sine 2y is the square root of x over 6. And that's multiplied by the square root of 1 minus, now the sine squared of 2y is equal to x over 6. So I'll put x over 6 over here. Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of all of this stuff here that I've written. That was just the thought process that I was thinking students would go through. So you, you know, you don't sometimes see the picture in front of you. So you think about different things. Like I thought about, first of all, changing this into, you know, using the double angle, angle formula for, you know, sine 2a, because that can, you know, split this up. But the problem is you end up with, sine 4a we want to have 2y to you know you'll have sine 4y sorry and we will end up we want to have things in terms of 2y and if you use the double angle for cosine 2y then this this breaks down into something with you know sine squared y we want sine squared 2y so the only other option is to rewrite cosine 2y as the square root of 1 minus sine squared 2y and then that works out so now let's continue um we've now replaced the the y terms is instead of with x terms. So hopefully it will simplify to something like this. Remember, we've got dx dy. We want to find dy dx in the end. So in the end, I'm going to find the reciprocal of the answer. So dx dy is equal to... Now, what you can do is we know that, for example, the square root of a times the square root of b from the laws of thirds is the same as the square root of a times b inside the square root. So I can multiply inside the square root x over y with each of these terms. So I have this 24 times the square root of this will be x over y minus x squared over 36. 6 times 6 is 36. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to combine these into one fraction. So I have dx dy equals 224 times the square root of, this is going to be, if I multiply by 6, it will be 6x minus x squared all over 36. 
I can take 36 out of this square root and it will be the square root of 36. So dx dy is equal to 24 over the square root of 36 uh, times the square root of um, 6x minus x squared. And this is 24 over 6, which is 4. So dx dy equals 4 times the square root of 6x minus x squared. Therefore, dy dx is what we're looking for, is equal to, let's move this out of the way, the reciprocal of this, which is 1 over 4 times the square root of, 4 times the square root of 6x minus x squared. Okay, so that's the answer. And it was supposed to be in this form. Let's just make sure that it does follow this pattern here. Ahem. <clears throat> Okay, so it seems like we've got the right thing. We can say A equals 4 and B equals 6. All right, so this is the form we had to write it in. And that seems like it's correct. So, you know, this is a type of question where you have to, um, you know, sometimes you can't see when you're starting out at the beginning of this question. When you do this, how am I going to get to there? You can't see it straight away. You've got to think about different things, think a bit logically. So you can try out different things like I did. I, I thought, let's think about using the identity for sine 2a. Let's think about using the identity for cosine 2a. Both of those cause a problem because we have to have, the, we have, to have our answers in terms of sine of 2y. Because we have to replace the sine of 2y with, with x, you see. So then we think, okay, what's, what's the other way? I don't want, I can, the sine of 2y is fine. I can replace it with root x over 6. But the cosine of 2y, how do, how, what way can I express that in terms of the sine of 2y? Well, we can say that it's the square root of 1 minus the sine squared of 2y. And then that works. Okay, so that's how you deal with such questions. Um, so uh, other questions from this paper of P3, June 2021, you can find collected in the playlist that should appear in this area. And this area here, you should find questions to do differentiation of trig uh, functions or just differentiation from p3 in general you can uh, link to my channel by clicking on this icon and you will find other questions that you might be interested in watching um, from p1 p2 p4 s1 m1 and also ig papers um, igcse papers for maybe some of you who've got some friends taking igcse you might want to share with them the indexes for those are found in a link in the description to this video. Thank you for watching and see you soon.